Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 3 of the second season of How Not to Summon a Demon Lord today. And it was interesting to learn more about uh, the situation at uh, Zircon Tower City. And uh, apparently um, that girl who showed up called uh, Fanny's, I believe, uh, she's uh, the reason why things uh, are so hard for, for people at uh, this place and why Batuta uh, has to do um, the things that uh, he's been doing. Um, but yeah, I wanted to see if um, Diablo and the others are going to be able to change uh, something uh, uh, here. Like, I don't know what will happen between them um, and uh, that girl since their meeting was uh, quite short. Um, but uh, at some point, uh, they're probably going to, like, become more involved uh, with her. So I will have to um, see what um, ends up happening, because uh, Diablo also came here uh, with the intent of, um, uh, like, going to that uh, dungeon. So, again, it's hard to know uh, what uh, they will decide um, on doing. Um, but yeah, it's been really interesting to see the start uh, of um, uh, this season and really can't wait to see what's going to happen during uh, this episode. So, hope you guys are ready and I started. Ooh. Hmm. Mm. I don't know, for some reason... Oh... So he's like... He's still up to something. How is he doing this though? Oh, sleeping drugs. Man, this has been a roller coaster of uh, socks, in a way. It's like I was wondering about this guy before when he gave that smirk and, and stuff. Before we met um, Fannies. But then they showed this during the previous episode, how she was um, putting him in this situation. It kind of looked like he wasn't at fault or something, that he was forced to do this because of her. That he wasn't that bad or, or anything. But now there's this. It's really up to something. It also ends up making more sense. I mean, why would he give that smirk to begin with during the first episode? It instantly gave the vibe that he was up to something. Definitely been surprising to see How things have been changing. Oh my god. <laughs> Back into action, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it did. Ooh. It's that bunny one.
I wonder if uh, Oh, it was about this. Yeah, I was fooled as well. Oh, he knew it too. It was a... It's good that he noticed, that he knew about this. Yeah, that guy Batuta really fooled me. So maybe Funny is, is actually the not so bad one in the end. I'm not too sure, but. Those people. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening here? What the? Yeah, they're definitely doing something. <laughs> Why is this happening though? That's a ritual. They need people doing the thing to perform something. Hmm. My god, that outfit. Hmm. I don't even know what to think. <laughs> oh, the... the... Seven deadly sins or something? Or seven mortal sins? Something like that? Where does that come from though? <laughs> the concentrate? I have many questions right now. Oh. The first name was Funnies, right? That's the one that stuck. Oh. Oh, that's not actually what happened. Hmm. And that's crazy. She came here to be helped and... This happens. For, so, for, for like a moment I thought I was seeing some nipples, to be honest. I was a bit scared, like... <laughs> oh my god! What is that tongue? Oh. Man, I swear. This season already takes the cake in terms of fan service. They're here. The previous one was wild, but... Three episodes into this one and... My god. Almost an anti. Pretty much.
Oh, the boss. <laughs> yep. It's happening here. Oh, damn. It's defeated all of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's been a thing. No one really believes his what he says. Oh. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Megumin is back. <laughs> I don't know if this is a reference to Konosuba, but... It's really funny. Oh. That's a good point. You have to be careful. Hmm. Is actually wait did he oh damn that cut it almost completely cut it That's already the most, the biggest injury he got so far. The most someone did to him. Does he know? Oh, damn. Is good. What happened? It just took the blow. Man, this is so unexpected. It's 
It's not looking good for Diablo. This spell? What is he doing? Absolute zero? Oh, it's freezing him. Wait, is it similar to what he did to the other guy before? He broke free after a while, so... He just cut his arm. I guess it didn't eat the heart. Oh, so that was it. That's crazy. Oh. I love how what they show is literally your opai. <laughs> Hmm. Oh damn! Who did that? Oh, it was Shara. Of course, she's an archer. Angel shot. Oh, it's petrifying her. Damn! Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, she's a demon lord in the end, even if she's really cute. Oh! That's nice. Too sure. Is he doing something? Wait, he's, do he's doing like a final act? Oh, damn. Man, this place is going to be... Everything is falling. Need to get out. Did he just disappear? Oh my god. I swear these... These moments. I mean... She would never leave you guys. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, they stopped Ooh. Varakness?
Hmm. Who's this guy, though? My arm, um... Okay then. Man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. It's the one I memorized. <laughs> I'm also to be blamed. It will place his... Floating? Oh, he's using what he was training before. Before he met uh, Lumakina. Yeah, that was... Really dangerous for him. Oh, that's when it happened. What about the others, though? The ones doing the thing here? Were they able to run away or...? Oh, she has the curse! Of course they use this chance to show the panties. And she can't use it on herself. Damn. How can they save her now? She mentioned before, it doesn't work on herself. That really sucks. We need to find a way. Damn. Oh, that's good. That's nice to know. I was already wondering, like, how could they save her? So the dungeon is going to be the key. Man, this was a really scary situation. Seeing how Diablo was close to dying. He only survived because of that cape, I believe. It prevents him from dying, like his HP stays at... At 1 or something. And then the Orns... That he has regens his HP. That was... It was good that he had that. But this was like the... The toughest situation for him, in a way. Like the... The one situation he got um, in trouble the most, or something like that. Yeah, at least I stopped that guy. Now they need to get the cure for Lumakina. Or Lumakina. And he's ending. Also of. Lewd moments. Yeah, that's literally a thing with uh, dual anime. I mean, this season has been so wild. But yeah, I'm actually curious about um, 
about fun is like all right the the screen at the end of the episode man <laughs> is there going to be a beach episode during this uh, season or something it's a, it's actually a thing like during a etchy anime or something there's usually one of these uh, episodes, so not too sure if that's going to be um, the case with this one or not. We we had that one or on the previous season where um, there was Shara and Ram taking uh, a bath in the open, and they were all naked. So I guess it's like it's kind of similar uh, in a way. Um, but yeah, it would be like always funny to see one of these episodes. It's uh, one of the episodes I'm always expecting um, during uh, anime uh, like this. Um, but yeah, like, it's, it, it was just, um, again, good to see that um, they were able to stop this guy, but uh, he was still able to place the curse on uh, um, Lumakina, so that wasn't, uh, that wasn't good, of course. Um, but yeah, seeing how they, um, they now have um, that cure uh, in this dungeon, they, they need to go there and uh, defeat a boss, I'm assuming, like, Diablo knows what um, he must do, since uh, uh, it was a thing um, in the game that he played, it was like a, a limited time event or something, um, and it's becoming, uh, like, really uh, useful uh, here, so hopefully they will be able to do it, and they will save um, Lumakina with it. Um, but like I said before, I'm also really curious about Fanny's because she was like um, doing um, like doing her thing. She was taking a shower or something, um, and then this guy showed up, and it's like he was um, working for um, the Demon Lord. So I'm not too sure what uh, he meant by that. I don't know if um, he means uh, clam um, uh, with that. That is like part of the Fallen and stuff. Uh, but uh, pretty much his ideal uh, is. Um, the same as they were talking about before, like getting rid of uh, uh, the mortal race. So pretty much what these fallen uh, want. So I don't know what uh, will happen, but right now is uh, like already wanting uh, uh, fun is to be on his side, and in a more special way, he actually wants uh, her to join his arm or something. So I guess he already has uh, some girls uh, with him. Um, but yeah, it's been really interesting to um, to see this so far. Like this season, as um, like uh, it's only been uh, three episodes so far, but things have been quite wild um, already. And like uh, with um, the first season, I guess it was like more chill at first. But at that time, we were still like meeting uh, each character and stuff, and they were kind of showing uh, um, the concept of this place, and like we. Like getting to learn um, like more and more about um, this world and the differences uh, to the game um, that uh, uh, Diablo used um, uh, to play. Uh, but yeah, in this one they went uh, straight to the point. So now there's already this um, really bad situation, and uh, like like I said, thankfully they already defeated this guy, but they still need to save um, Lumakina. And there's still the dual, dual thing about um, the church, like uh, Lumakina wants to uh, fix everything, to get rid of this, uh, uh, of like the rot uh, in this church or something. I don't know like the exact way that, that they phrased it. Um, but yeah, just uh, looking forward to see how things will happen during um, the next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.